Whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, shrimp and grits are good any time of the day. Let me show you how easy it is to make shrimp and grits my way. Let's go. What is up my YouTube family? Today we are going to make shrimp and grits. So let me finish getting my, I'm so excited. So let me finish getting my ingredients together. Here's our beautiful bacon. Let me set up for you guys and let me show you how easy it is to make shrimp and grits. Be back. What's poppin' my YouTube fam? So, once again, on the menu today for a break fast, we are going to have shrimp and grits my way, not the traditional NOLA way, so don't hop up on me. I'm doing it my way, Tisha's way, the Yaya's catering way, the way me and my family like it. So, this is the pan I fried my bacon in. And we are going to, let me turn this down a little bit. We'll turn it down a little bit. So this is the pan I fry my bacon in. What I'm about to do first is sear off these shrimp. And I have here, I don't know if they're large or, I think these might be just large um, shrimp. Um, and I seasoned them with, let me put them in here and I'll show you guys what I seasoned them with. Toss them right on in there, give them a quick sear right in the bacon fat. So that's just gonna give like so much flavor. So much flavor. Okay, so you wanna sear those off. And this is what I use to season my shrimp with. I use some Old Bay seasoning. And I use some Badia Complete, which is my favorite, as you guys know. And that's the only two things I used. So we are going to sear these off first. And th then, once these are seared off, we're going to um, saute our veggies in this pan. We're going to make us a nice little gravy. Quick, easy, simple. We're going to make us some cheesy grits to go with this. Mm, 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 mm. The perfect breakfast, the perfect brunch, or dinner. You can have it for dinner too. And again, this is my way. This is the way I like to do it. There's so many different ways you can do it, but you know, this is my way. So we're gonna sear these shrimp off and get a nice little crust on those. And then I'll be back y'all to show y'all the next step. Okay, y'all, I'm back, and my shrimp is looking spectacular, just the way I want them. So, let's take these off, and again, I cook these right in bacon fat, because I fried up some bacon to uh, garnish my um, shrimp and grits with. So, the bacon fat that was uh, left over from that, that's what I'm going to cook my veggies in as well. So, here's our beautiful shrimp. Give you guys a good, here's our beautiful, beautiful sauteed shrimp. And we're gonna sit these to the side. And now we are going to go in with our veggies. And I have some red bell pepper and onion. So let's get these up in there. All right. And we're just gonna do the same thing we did with the shrimp. Toss these up in that bacon fat and let them do what they do. And I'm gonna saute these off, guys, until they are nice and al dente. Nice and al dente, yeah, yeah. Hope everybody is doing spectacular out there. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like I always say, if you are not subscribed, what are you waiting for? There's so much I have in store for you guys. So if you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to turn on your post notification bell so you can know each and every time your girl uploads a video 
also please feel free to comment like and share on this video as well okay so we are just gonna saute these up until they're nice and soft and see the seasoning from the shrimp is getting on there the uh, fat from the bacon is flavoring it up it's go listen listen y'all I'm telling you it's my way it's my way I love it I love it wait till the end y'all so yeah so let's get these nice and sauteed up and I will be back okay y'all so my vegetables is exactly where I want them to be so now the next step is <clears throat> excuse me to add in I have some oh let me get in here I have some um, smoked sausage here these are already fully cooked smoked sausage and I just uh, roughly chopped them up and I'm gonna add these in here to brown these are not gonna take long at all to brown so I'm gonna add those in there to brown and give it a nice toss and those onions and uh, peppers it smells so good oh my god I wish I could smell this kitchen right now oh my goodness okay so let's let those brown up shouldn't take long at all and then after we brown these sausage up we gonna throw our shrimp back in we go throw in our little gravy and uh, we're going to let that sit while we work on these delicious cheesy grits. So let's get this nice and browned. Nice and brown, brown, brown. I'm always singing when I'm cooking. But I think I figured it out because cooking makes me so happy. You ever just have that one thing that's just like a stress reliever and it just relaxes you and it just makes you all happy inside. That's how I feel about cooking. So I know y'all be sick of me singing, but I can't help it because I'm happy. But more importantly, I'm excited to eat this bomb dish. Okay, okay. So like I said, those sausages are fully cooked. They already browned. See how delicious that looks? They're nice and browned. So now what we're gonna do, 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 do. There's a singing again. We are going to add in some, ugh, don't wanna spill this. We're gonna add in some minced garlic. And of course I waited to add this, <clears throat> excuse me, at the very end. Cause you know this stuff burns. I'm just gonna add that much. I think that was like four tablespoons. I love garlic in my shrimp and grits. So I think that was like four um, teaspoons. So I'm just going to incorporate this really fast. Just like that. And I love how I swear, like those pan drippings. Oh my gosh, y'all. It is like, it's going to give this dish so much flavor. It's going to give this dish so much flavor. Okay, so now, let's add back in our beautiful sautéed shrimp. Let's add that back in there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Rebob. Yes, sir. Mix it all up. Mix it all up. Mm-hmm. Shrimp and grits, my way. Oh my goodness. And now y'all, let's add a little gravy. So I like um, not a super thick gravy on my grits. I just like a nice, not runny, like I'll show y'all the consistency. Okay, so what I'm using, let me show y'all. I got right here in my cup some brown gravy mix because ain't nobody got time this morning you know you could take your flour throw it in the pan make you a roux burn your flour do what you do listen not this morning for me here is my savior and grace 
McCormick brown gravy mix because I just need a little bit of gravy. You know, we ain't trying to smother no pork chops. We just trying to get a little, a little gravy. And I love this McCormick gravy because it's so flavorful. So what I'm gonna do is add that right in this pan, just like this. I'm gonna add it right in here, just like this, with that bacon fat and all them juices in there. And it's going to thicken up, probably. I'm sure it's gonna thicken up. So as it thickens, I'm gonna be thinning it out with a little bit of um, hot water. See that thickened up up there? Because I really don't want a super thick gravy. See how that's starting to thicken up? And I mean, you want all that. You want all, make sure you get all them pan drippings. Make sure you get all them, oh my, is y'all seeing this? This is ridiculous. Look at this. See how it thickened up, y'all? Let me get, see that? Thickened up nice and good. So what I'm gonna do, let me see, do I want it this thick? Might be good, we'll see. So what I'm gonna do is give it a taste. Cause y'all know my food has to have flavor. For real. So let me see. I'm gonna give it a taste. Let me get a different. So I can't scoop with that. Get a different spoon. And I'm just gonna taste my gravy. It's so good, y'all. I ain't even fronting. It's it's bomb. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with it's good. But I want some more garlic. This is um, granulated garlic. I want a little bit more garlic. And I'm going to add in, because I want that uh, Cajun, kind of Cajun spice, Cajun kick. So I'm going to use some of my Slap Your Mama. Not too much. And I think I'm going to add in a little bit of lemon pepper. And that should take it up to where it needs to be. I'm also going to thin this out because like I said, it then thickened up. And I'm going to add a little bit more water to thin it out. And then we're just going to give it a stir, get those seasonings nice and incorporated. You know, you know how it go. You know how it go when it go. When it go, go. Mm-hmm. Yes. See, this is how I like my, see, I love my shrimp. Some people don't like, um, like a little, uh, gravy on their shrimp and grits, but it's hitting that way. It be, it be hitting. So. I'm gonna let this probably simmer for another five minutes because I don't want my shrimp overcooked. I probably won't even simmer it for another five. Probably about two to three minutes. I just want those seasonings to get nice and well incorporated in there. But this is it, y'all. This is our shrimp to go on top of our beautiful grits that we're about to make. I hope you guys can see it good. Out. Hope you guys can have a good view. But um, you know, at the end, I'll get up close and personal for y'all. So, yes, this is our shrimp and gravy for our shrimp and grits. And I will be back, y'all, so we can start those grits. Okay, guys, now it is time to start on our grits. And I don't know what kind of grits you use in your household, but I use quicker, quick five minute grits. So, let's get these bad boys started and take them up 50,000 notches. Okay, so I already measured out my uh, water and my grits. Um, it, it, the instructions or the measurements are right on the back of the uh, grit box. So we're just gonna add these in. And when you first put your grits in, y'all, you have to continuously stir them for at least the first like minute or two because you do not want any lumps in your grits. That's whack. We don't want no lumpy grits. No, baby. 
So we are just going to stir these bad boys up for the first one or two minutes, assuring that no lumps will form. And then we're going to turn the fire down and let these cook for about, or simmer, for about five to 10 minutes. And then we're gonna add some extra ingredients. We're gonna add, put, some, put in some cheese. It's gonna be bomb. Now I know with shrimp and grits, a lot of people, um, instead of using water, um, they use like a broth or a stock. You can do that. I don't have any, but the way that I do mine, you really don't need to um, flavor up your grits like that because that gravy is so flavorful. Um, my shrimp gravy is so flavorful that you will just not even miss um, not cooking your grits with a stock or a broth. It's really, it's not that serious. I mean, if you do it my route, it's not that serious. So let's just um, continue to stir this. So I'm not going to bore you guys with this. I'm going to get these grits nice and uh, stirred up and mixed up. And I'll be back when it's time to add in our additional ingredients. Be back, y'all. Okay, YouTube fam. So my grits are looking pretty good. Looking pretty good and pretty creamy. See there? lump free so now let's add in some butter a nice hunk of salted butter right on in there get this nice and stirred up nice and stirred up in there let that melt on in and let's add some cheese. I'm adding in some sharp cheddar. That's our sharp cheddar going in. And I'm adding in some double cheddar. Da -da -da. Just enough left in the bag. And we are also going to add some American white. Gonna add in about four, four slices. Three, four. Let's see what that do. And let's get this nice and stirred up. Hey, these grits looking crazy, ain't they? These grits looking crazy already. Wait till we add that gravy. <laughs> so I'm gonna get this nice and stirred up, y'all. Look at that. Look at. Mmm. Thick, creamy, cheesy. But you know what we need? More cheese, please. One, two, three, four. They real thin, y'all, so they real thin, real thin slices, so don't trip. But if you don't want that much cheese, don't add that much cheese in yours. If You know what I'm saying? Or add no cheese at all. Whatever your people's like, make it that way. This is the Yaga's catering way. Okay. So I'm gonna also throw in a little bit of, ooh, dropping them. Scallion or green onion. And what I'm going to do, guys, is let this um, make sure all my cheese is melted. And then I think it's time to plate. I'll be back to show y'all the finished product. Be back, y'all. All right, my YouTube fam. Here is the finished product. Shrimp and grits my way. Came out excellent. 
like it always does. As always, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. I love you all. And everybody, stay safe and stay blessed. <laughs>